today we are going to study the right upper quadrant abdominal pain first we will discuss the differential diagnosis then the history physical examination and the investigations the differential diagnosis of the right upper quadrant abdominal pain cholelithia acids itself doesn't cause the abdominal pain it it's usually asymptomatic but if it, there is an inflammation secondary to the stones, then it is called the cholecystitis. The biliary colic, cholidocholithiasis, cholangitis, see your gallbladder, cholangiocarcinoma, lower lobe pneumonia, hepatitis, and liver abscess. There are four important points in history if you are suspecting the gallstone. It is called as uh, 4F, like the patient would be female, fatty, in her 40s, and fair in color. For the cholecystitis, there would be history of chronic, a chronic infection, immunocompromised and uh, there would be history of constant pain with fever. In biliary colic, patient presents with the constant pain. In cholelithiasis, there would be dark urine, pale stool and fluctuating jaundice. This would also be present in cholangitis but in cholangitis, there are some additional symptoms of fever, nausea, vomiting and patient might develop the shock. In cases of lower lobe pneumonia, there would be breathing problem and the fever. In hepatitis, you have to ask for the travel history, history of blood transfusion and the vaccination. In the liver abscess, travel history is important. In physical examination, we have to see for the jaundice. Cholecystitis presents with the Murphy's and Boas sign. Murphy's sign is the palpable tender gallbladder and the Boas sign is the right subscapular pain. Cholangitis presents with the Charcot-Triad and Renault pentad. Charcot-Triad is the fever, right upper quadrant pain and jaundice. And when shock and confusion are also present with all these symptoms, this is called the Renault pentad. There would be breathing problem if the patient has pneumonia. Then the investigation. Investigations are the baseline that is the CBT, UCE for electrolytes and if the, if the patient develops the shock. LFTs for uh, hepatitis, amylase, lipase because there sometimes might be problem with the pancreas secondary to the gallstone, for example, gallstone pancreatitis. Bilirubin, AST and ALT and ALP. These would indicate if there is obstruction in the biliary tree. Cholelithiasis, cholecystitis and biliary colic can all be diagnosed by ultrasound. Cholelithiasis, that is CBD stone, would be diagnosed by ultrasound and if not possible MRCP and ERCP also done if they fail then we go for the PTC and the last option is the uh, SIDA scan that is that stands for hepatobiliary immunodiacetic acid scan in the cholangitis we will progress for the uh, we will go for the same ERCP and PTC CA gallbladder we will do ultrasound first Endoscopic ultrasound is the best option. Abdominal CT in cholangiocarcinoma ultrasound and CT, ERCP or PTC are done for the biopsy. There are some complications of the gallstones. So when there, when the patient presents with cholecystitis or stone in cystic duct, bile duct, wherever. We will also check if the patient develops the complications that are the gallstone ileus and gallstone pancreatitis. 